uh, we are at the Taban Museum. Yes, it's in, the, it's in Maryland. But I've learned one thing. I've never met with any person of any color who had more confidence in the voice of God as spoken direct to her soul and her faith in the supreme power truly was great Thomas Garrett so one thing I don't know this is uh, the museum Oh, my brother. Yes, according, uh, I'm, I'm, we are live now recording something and I would like you to give your opinion. There's an observation that I've made uh, here in the United States that uh, regarding to what, ever since we came here, that these people are good in preserving culture and the history. What is your take on it? What, is, what, what do you have to say about that? Have you also observed that? Well, um like you are saying, it's something that I've also observed, actually. And I think um, it's something we can um, learn from um, as well in Africa, so that we strive to preserve uh, our rich culture. If you look at uh, where we are right now, there's a lot of uh, information that is uh, available. Yes. This is information that has been passed from generation to another generation. Okay. So with us, unfortunately, we are missing uh, in something like this. We have a museum, but uh, it's very rare that I would actually read, uh, you know, read uh, rich stories like uh, the way we have been able to experience uh, in the U.S. so far. Okay. Yeah. And I think uh, briefly, uh, some minutes ago, in our personal discussion you also talked about like the way how we do things in Africa whereby uh, regardless of how regardless of what the person does when they make a mistake one mistake we, we greatly capitalize on the mistake and forget the good that that person does or has done so what is your take on it like basically when it comes to our setting back home in the African context, continent, on the African continent. Yeah, that you, you raised a very important point also. Mm. Was um, at, at mm. no, it's fine. Come and hold for me, small, small. Oh. Ben, first hold, yeah. Yes, uh -huh, we are still. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, you have raised a very important point. Um, yes. Because if you analyze uh, none of uh, the history makers, none of uh, the people that uh, changed the course of this were perfect. Okay. But uh, when you go just, just be doing your thing work, like you can really see that uh, you know, the positive contribution that made history has been recorded. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, other people would argue that uh, no, uh, but, uh, none of the negative ones that can highlight. We also need to do more of the celebrating the positive that the people make. Because at the end of the day, it's all about joining dots. Yeah. Getting the positive, 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 positive to come up with something good. Yeah. Than only just looking at the negative. Yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for me also my take on one, one of the things that I'm going to work upon when we return back to Africa is to see ways and how we can do a culture that we love the good that we do. Uh, I've seen it here, there are so many monuments, there are so many statues with one objective of preserving the culture and paying tribute. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like look at this, it's not in the town, it's in the village, but at least it's here. Yeah. And it's something which is extremely captivating. For sure, yeah. And can you do the same thing? Yeah, we we'll also yeah. try to do the same as well in my home country, make sure that we promote the uh, preserving of our rich culture. Okay. Well, we, we, have, we have a lot to share, not only with our younger generation, but also with our own nation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you. When you become a leader, they are recording. You want, allowed. you want me to take your picture allowed. to hold the camera for them? Sorry, yeah, yeah. When you become a leader in Angola, do us one favor. Kindly try to. Yeah. Make you want me to take a picture? No, it's recording. The next Just hold. Generation. Oh. Like yeah. Also preserve the culture that has been there for years. Oh, but why do you have. I, I, I do that actually now. Thank you. I do my part. Okay? Yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Oh, oh thank you. Don't worry, Ben. Ben, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, feel at home. Uh, wh what have you benefited? Or what are you learning from this visit? I just got here, so I'm trying to okay. interact with the content. Um, but um, it's truly an exciting experience. Which country, anyway? You tell us about your Zimbabwe. Name. From Zimbabwe. Yeah. Now, according to you, in Zimbabwe, in Uganda, in South Africa, do we have such? Do we do do do, you, do we preserve culture to this extent? Well, definitely, definitely. I think. Zimbabwe's culture is very strong and, and well preserved. Eh? It's not nucleated; it's in different aspects. Okay. So you have to go to different parts of Zimbabwe to actually experience the culture. All right. Yeah. Amazing. One thing which I've admired about uh, US or United States is the way how they are preserving culture, and even like when you come to all these places, you don't find any fee. You come free of charge, and then it's like more of a buffet. You 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 select and. Uh, Back in Africa, at least we have to do a lot about this too. Whereby, whereby a museum shouldn't be charged, eh? <laughs> because look at but I mean. The certain aspects of it are, have to be charged because it's to preserve and protect what is available and for upkeep and to take care of it. Okay. Um, and I believe at some point Africa will get to a point where we can offer all of this for free. But I think it's very necessary at this point in time for certain fees to be levied okay. um, in order to appreciate what certain people worked so hard to preserve. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Remember, this is a museum. As you can see here. Like, these are the people who fought for the freedom. Yeah. Uh, the African freedom. I pray to God to make me strong and able to fight. And that's what I'm what I have always prayed for ever since. Thank you, hello. Oh you want a photo? But this is fine, Ricket. How are you? Members, thank you very much for following this journey. Uh, of learning more about the US and how things are being done and uh, you might admire the nation but just know that there are so many people who sacrifice their life, their freedom for the nation to reach where it is Yeah, they didn't get where they are by accident neither did they uh, get the freedom by just sleeping on the bed of roses they did a lot so uh, as we, we, we journey or as we soldier on to the freedom we need the financial freedom, the spiritual freedom, it won't come on the bed of roses. We have to do a lot. Not fighting, no, but at least we have to do a lot in terms of uh, making the right choices, working very hard, coping from those who have made it, uh, having love, the real love. Yeah, there's a lot, there is a lot. Thank you. Uh, this is Teacher Peter from Teachers TV, Africa live and direct from Maryland, state here in the US.